so simple i have a form here in this form harassment form i want to create a true or false field okay maybe here what could be the field name anyone please suggest true or false punishable offense yes or no okay yes. punishable offense very good so uh, how to create a field just go here form layout form layout uh yes what is the type true or false true or false punishable offense i am poor in english so please ignore my offense punishable offense okay add it and then go up go up go up go up go up okay save it right so let's come to the world of what scripting okay from now you enjoy the classes okay so see here we want to develop one system we, we want to develop a logic the logic is saying like okay if it is a punishable offense something like this if it is true i want this one to be mandatory i want this one to be mandatory or i want something so if it is i want to create a situation like if it is true do some list of activities if it is false do the reverse set of activities so let's say punishable offense true if it is true maybe i want to make witnesses as mandatory if it is false then maybe witnesses are not mandatory so if i do positive here okay if i do when it is checked if i do something true if it is false i want to do the reverse part of it for that i'll i want this field clear everyone yes yes okay first thing second thing is on change of this field i want to do every activity on change of this field i will be clicking this one i am playing here i will be playing here okay so when i click it whatever i did i write true all the values will come when i uncheck it whatever okay i will do in the reverse part i will i will write it there so this is my triggering condition triggering point keep this okay now take this field very carefully see very simple okay on change client script okay i i given change this one okay uh, g form play for b26 okay on change of which field i think the field is not yet come because this form is not refreshed hmm. on change of <coughs> what field ma here what field i need to select punishable offense right f f f okay good if it is this one right what i want to do here is cut i will give this notes okay maybe if you want to practice it vip1 you can practice it just play but if it is very heavy don't practice it slowly learn it ma don't hurry bari okay you don't take pressure enjoy that okay enjoy the flow so here if it is true do something if it is false do reverse part okay so true or false first of all how to know this value you want you see if he wear red cap kill him if he wear black cap okay give a chocolate this is what i ask you to do you were a international uh, a1 uh, a1 uh, what you call shooter okay then i given you okay some 1 lakh rupee and then i given one nice person who have 32 cases okay then i ask you to kill him that day he goes to court okay every friday he goes to court okay that day i ask you okay that day if he wear red red cap kind of then kill him if he unfortunately if he wear black cap don't kill him kind of now you take the control by taking one value cap equal to red or black correct get the value of cap okay if a cap is red do one activity if cap is black do another activity correct 
Yes. Is that correct, Ma? Yes. Yes, Rikan, is that yes. correct? Yes or no? Please acknowledge, Ma. Yes. Yes. So yes. here also in our example, based on this value, true or false, I want to do so so many things, Ma. First, you need to get this control. Okay. How you get this value? Okay. Get value. First important thing is okay where just to take where okay uh, punishable offense PO okay PNOF right equal to what is this one sir I will just explain it in two minutes okay where how did you get the PNOF that's the question uh, now you can, or you you can just, give your just, name sir okay okay got it, got okay, it. You. Okay, it's a variable you can give it okay okay sorry 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 yeah G user okay get value where is that no sorry g it's not g user g form okay get value get value what it will give you sir what it will do for us okay we will see it get value of okay a field name very good i didn't copy that what is the field name here this one okay so a field name copy this right field name okay i am also writing along with you ma. i am i am a first time learner this is my first script assume like this okay and then so sir what value it will give you tick one variable you took one variable called this one and then you you got the value of it okay but how to know whether what value it is getting in this form okay say may alert of this one this is to know what value is coming to that particular variable okay so on change client script on change of this field value okay you get the control of the field and then whatever the value it is coming up just alert it now see the results yeah so now this is to get the value only to understand what value it is coming up okay it is, it is not our script okay so you refresh here okay execute the triggering point so if it is checkbox what value it is writing ma True. Okay. So if it is uncheck it, what value it is writing ma? False. So true or false, correct? Yes. So true or false, that too in small, small letters. So now I got the control of it. Can I say like this? I'm I got the control of this. Using this control, I will play with it. So now I don't want this one. Okay, I I, I verified it. Okay. So now if P N O F equal to true. Okay. Do one set of actions here. If else. Okay. You do some list other set of actions here. So you made two blocks here. Okay. What I uh, what I can do, sir. Now you write one more alert here. Okay. The victim okay where red cap okay hence hasak <laughs> right and now hence take rest no job right so now see i created two blocks here i got the control of the field if it is true i will do it if it is not true what is the value of p and o f ma if it is not true false, false only na so you can false. if when you have two values in the scope you no need to again write it okay if you want to write it else if okay you can again write it okay p n o f equal to false you can do it if you have multiple like if you have 100 okay occur five values so then else if you can do but if you have only two values true or false then this part is not required you can just ignore it else will take care of it okay can we execute now yes, yes. i am playing it okay i am playing with you people only that's it okay and this is very interesting this play is very interesting okay so see here so now that guy gone you were red unfortunately you were red so perfect okay good so now next time 
on change client script he didn't read red okay the victim okay i think i need to change little bit okay not red black i can change it yes sir we need to change the sentence yeah black 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 so far he, as he wear the black cap no more okay so today is saturday no more killings okay i am vegetarian okay so <laughs> kind of so see here this is the how i am getting the control so if i if it is true i will do one set of activities if it is false i will do another set of activities so you got the structure here everyone structure if structure you got it yes sir <laughs> so now sir this so far you did some magic i understood it but i don't know what is get value okay and i don't know why i need to give like this one only why i need to give only field name here you could have done get reference also no because that's yeah. what the reference why, field why can't i use get reference so i don't know all of them how to learn them sir okay so g form control click what did i do when you are in the g form just keep the cursor control click everyone seen it okay so the control click open says the service now documentation docs dot service now doc okay here g form get value okay so how to use get value what it will get for you so here you get the notes okay so g form get value of the field name field name what field name whatever the field value that you want to get it that field name short description on incident form short underscore description is the short description back and value okay here what field i given offense punishable offense what is the back end value here is the back end value so i don't know how to use the function i read it from the notes i took a reference of it and then i used it now i i can i can learn it right first time learning yes yes, yes. yes sir one thing. sir second thing so g form dot get value okay enter it don't click it don't use your cursor okay point it enter it it is giving some syntax here it is giving some structure here yes it given some structure it is asking yes, for a yeah. field name yes. so this is also one more learning but first time learners you feel little confused here this one is not user friendly it looks like this one and then you get confused what i need to write slowly you will learn it okay syntax same like same like excel only excel only okay so see here g form set mandatory okay set mandatory is asking for two parameters one is field name another one is boolean so here you need to give two separated by comma good i don't know sir i didn't understand it sir then you go to the notes okay in the notes look for mandatory okay so here string boolean value what is boolean value boolean means always true or false <laughs> okay so now how to give it where is the syntax okay so look for another syntax now okay so set mandatory so there are so many examples but here they didn't give any example okay where are the examples one very good okay so see here uh, set mandatory let's say okay we'll do one thing okay as we started it now set mandatory i will cover tomorrow but just to cover this scenario okay if it is true i want to make this field mandatory okay which field sub category field mandatory can we do that yes yes so if it is true we do sub category mandatory so g form okay very carefully see g form set mandatory okay i am not coming in the flow ma in tomorrow we will come from flow every first to last okay today i am just introducing script okay so what is the back end value of the form what is the back end value of the field sub category u underscore sub underscore category don't type don't rely on you when you are writing scripting first time copy paste it got it okay so here i do true okay 
here I do false. So why I used this one? Because this is the syntax, field name and boolean. So now you see this, g form, okay, set mandatory, enter. What it is asking? Field name, boolean. Field name is the backend, backend field name. Boolean is either true or false. Correct? Line number 10, line number 16. You are seeing it, Ma? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so now play with it. Observe the subcategory field and the form. Okay, concentrate here. So, okay, alert. Mandatory came, mandatory true. Yes, uncheck it. Mandatory false came. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, everyone. Mandatory true. Red came. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Mandatory false. Red gone. True condition, mandatory true. False condition, mandatory false. Correct? Can you go, can you go to script once again? So, in two places, you are putting G form uh, set mandatory. True and false. Correct, everyone? Oh, you are putting yeah but do we need do we need to write the false condition or because it is it will all in a way take it no if you don't do it okay let's say you don't do it you observe it okay yeah. we will see it tomorrow deeply okay but let's cover it hmm. so very carefully observe it okay true mandatory true okay false <coughs> What happened? Oh, it is not moving out. Because we didn't instruct. It is not clear. We didn't instruct. Reverse. Yeah. Okay. Re reverse action. In UA policy, we have reverse false. But here, we don't have any reverse false. We need to define it. Got it. 